Hello guys, it's Rad, welcome to the channel, welcome to Radko Tarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and uh, Cancer Rising weekly tarot reading for uh, March 11th to March 17th 2019 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards once again I want to remind you that uh, this is going to be a general reading for Cancer Star Sign and for that reason this reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different uh, cancers. So in this video, I will uh, try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread. But ultimately at the end, um, you will, for more, for maximum accuracy, you will have to align your personal situation with the general reading, you know, to get better insight or better answers. Now, if you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot cards and to give you predictions for it, for the future, uh, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings that is on the very, very first page, on the very front page. So going into Cancer's week, the first card for Cancer, this is going to be the Moon card, which is the very topic of their week, followed, followed by the second card, which is the things that they should not do regarding the topic. This is going to be the Death card. Then the third one is going to be the positive approach of the things that the cancers should do throughout the week. This is going to be the uh, judgment. And the last one that is going to be the positive outcome or rather like the outcome of growth for cancers should they follow the guidance of Tarot. So once again, Moon card, then it is a, the Death card followed by the judgment and the last one that we do have for you guys this is going to be the six of pentacles uh, so cancers um, this uh, this week um, how can I place it it's uh, it's an important week in a sense of that uh, there will be a, a major insights and answers to your worries that are going to come to you. So if you worry for your business, <clears throat> the answer, you know, why and how you can overcome these worries are going to come around. Same thing goes for your relationship. This week for you guys is obtaining these missing pieces from the puzzle that are making you feeling insecure in the place of vagueness and ambivalency as well. <clears throat> And those answers, at least according to these cards, are all around you. It is just, it does require a little bit more, I will use the term cooking, uh, before they become rather obvious. <clears throat> so the moon card here, it is displaying exactly this state that um, when you enter into the week, um, you are going to kind of like uh, feel yourself a bit insecure and sure in a place of vagueness, you know, kind of like don't know why things are happening around you, or even uh, things <clears throat> that are happening around you will make little sense to you at all and so on and so forth. That is because the moon card usually shrouds everything around one person with, uh, with darkness in a sense of that at this point you are not supposed to know um, you know, what is to happen. And by the way, in Tarot, when you have the Moon card into one, um, into one reading and into one spread, this card blocks you from seeing rather the future, okay? That is because the future can go in multiple ways. And uh, whatever you're supposed to experience, you're not supposed to know, so you don't prevent it. That is the reason why the Moon card even exists in Tarot. But in the case of just the general reading and general spread, the moon does represent this, um, like I said, uh, uh, insecurity and instability and lack of stability to a one does not know the answers of their worries and uh, have a little clue why things are happening around them. So don't, uh, <clears throat> how can I place it? Don't freak out 
if at the start of the week, you know, you're finding yourself in a situations, just like I said, that are making little sense. And as well, things around you are happening that's kind of like you could not predict or it's just they are coming out of nowhere, making you readopting your plans and your strategies along the way. Now, the important thing with the moon card to be acknowledged is that even despite this sense of insecurity and vagueness, you should proceed on doing what you're doing. Because uh, as I said, things are gonna make little sense, whatever you're doing, for example, proceeding with one project or uh, proceeding with one relationship could make little sense doing it. So for example, just to give you an example here, you are dating with, uh, with a certain person, but at the start of this week, this person starts seemingly, start becoming seemingly disinterested in you dating with them or they dating with you. And, uh, you know, at that point, everybody would say, well, what is the point proceeding on doing so? And uh, as you proceed on doing so, dating, in other words, with this uh, person, the answer of why he or she is disinterested and what lacks in this interaction is going to be revealed. That is the point of the, loon of the, the Luna, I would, have, I would have said the Luna, the Moon card. Uh, on a very superficial level, this is a, a very potent card for the people of art. Those who combine their intelligence and wisdom with their imagination, like painters, you know, writers, and so on, Musician, uh, musicians as well, and so on and so forth. So people of art could expect great things to come up to their, uh, from their subconscious, to immerse from their subconscious, and they can scribe them down into their artwork. The accompanied card to the moon, this is going to be the justice and the shade or the cooperation here is passive neutrals. <clears throat> so the more organized your life is, the less insecurity and the less vagueness you are going to experience. So it's uh, at the start of the week is going to kind of like... Uh, serves you a, a great way, you know, if you set your priorities and as well your responsibilities into order and you know it in what time and in what day, what kind of responsibility you are to take throughout the week. Because if you are, at least according to these cards, if you are being, uh, how can I place it? If you're being scattered, you know, and disorganized, then the, uh, the sense of insecurity is going to be at its peak. Additionally to that, with the justice, those who can discern the reality of, kind of like it's this, the, re, the reality of cellular, those who can discern reality from uh, cellular situations also are going to experience, um, you know, this vagueness to its um, uh, lesser state. That is, uh, if we go with, again with the example here, you know that someone shows disinterest dating with you while with the pre in the previous week they did show interest, a big interest, you know. <clears throat> the discernment who are could, uh, here could be that you could say to yourself, well, maybe this, this person has problems into their career, you know, maybe there is something else bothering them and so on and so forth. So it's kind of like being more objective as usual instead of daydreaming is going to severely help you to go through this uh, time of insecurity and, uh, as I said, vagueness. The second card, um, it's just a confirmation here, the death card, and um, that is what you should not do regarding the situation. As I said, you gotta continue on doing what you're doing and as the death card presents itself always as a change, what you should not do is try to replace that thing of vagueness, the thing of insecurity with something else. <clears throat> this is just as far as the death card goes. Uh, maybe because at, at least for the duration of the week and maybe um, even throughout the near future, it is unlikely that you're gonna find anything better to, substitu to, to substitute this thing, either relationship, career, path, project, or, or even a friend <clears throat> into your environment. The additional card to the death, this is going to be the uh, Ace of Cups and we do have an active support, uh, passive supporters here, excuse me. So, <clears throat> 
what these cards are pointing is that the exhilarating moment in that undertaking of yours which you are feeling a great amount of insecurity at this very point it's yet to be discovered so uh, the, the way that i see these cards guys is that you haven't reached yet the maximum potential of either your dating stage uh, your marriage you know your um <clears throat> your project should you work on a private business on the private field or into your career as well and that's why even right now if you are not seeing progress all right that doesn't mean that you have to bail out from it it, it does mean that you should sit in there, you know, do your priorities right. And then for from one or another way, basically you are to find, well, how can I play? You are to find a higher value into what you are doing, into either your career, either your relationship or either one of your projects. Also, these cards here are pointing that you should not rely on that miraculously things are going to resolve themselves on their own accord. With that combination, every result is going to be a fruit of hard work. Therefore, <clears throat> as soon as things become obvious to you, uh, it should be a point where you have to make your heart push, your explosive progression into either career-wise or either relationship-wise. For example, if we're following this um, this thing with dating, you know, uh, the insight comes to you that this person, you know, have, let's say, problems with their family and that's why they don't seem very interested into dating because the problems are bigger than, um, the problems are, are, are kind of much bigger and uh, tougher than you can imagine, then what you need to do here is to just show them that you can be always their support and so on and so forth. So as soon as you define, you know, where the root, the, the core of the situation is or the core of this, um, the source of this vagueness comes from, this is where you got to make your push toward and try to uh, resolve it. Now, the Ace of Cups it's the, these unpredictable, usually plays the role, excuse me, of those unpredictable happy circumstances that are making your current issues irrelevant and so on and so forth. And in this case, like I said, you should not try to walk away from the issues and from that uh, insecurity that you are finding yourself at at the start of the week. But instead, you, you have to aim to spend time in it so you can, as I said, once again, reach the core of the situation or the core of the issue. This is, I cannot stress to you enough how important that is. So I don't know if uh, through my explanations, you kind of like grasp on the um, importance of the week. But let's give you something else as an example. If your marriage is in a really, really bad shape, and you want to save it, of course, and even if you don't want to save it, throughout that week, you are going to find out why. Same goes career-wise, so you're going to get here the answer why something isn't happening that you want to happen. That is for throughout, um, for throughout this, uh, this week. So uh, going to the next card here, which is uh, the things that you should do throughout the week, we do have the judgment. And that card applies only when you get your insight. Because the judgment is the wake up call and it does point that this insight that you're gonna get or the things that you're gonna figure out are going to be from a, a substantial value. Actually with them, you are going to have a, um, let's say a weapon to get the upper hand over your rivals or to resolve the issues that you are facing. Basically, you're, you're going to be the one who calls the shots at that point, and it, be, it will be based on your decision how this undertaking is going to proceed on forward. You can decide to make it, or you can decide to break it. However, uh, with the judgment, it is very important one to act according to um, what is natural to the subject. In a sense of that you shouldn't go out of your way, you know, in order to uh, consolidate one thing at all cost or to break it at all cost. 
it's, you have to be synchronized with your, I don't know how to say it here guys, but you have to, if your action here based on the judgment card, it has to be completely synchronized with what, what you think is right and what you, uh, what you want to achieve in your life. Judgment points that this answer or rather like this insight that you are going to get is going to be like a salvation. So it's going to present you with an option available, with a way out or with a, a new enterprise that you have so much waited for in order to stir your things, to stir your situations. But the very maximum here points is that no longer <clears throat> things are, gonna no, are going to be no longer um, unsecure and uncertain and uncertain excuse me so that means that you will now have the grasp upon everything that is going on in your life and you will have a control upon it that is further supported with the last card here which is the six of pentacles the accompanied card with the with the judgment card that is going to be the uh, wheel of fortune which we form active support uh, active supporters yeah and this means that this insight, uh, it's literally with the, the uh, Wheel of Fortune, it means that this insight is going to give you once in a lifetime opportunity to do what you want. So just to, um, just to bring it to the, um, to the more practical level here, if we follow the example, your marriage is on the rock, well, the insight you're gonna get will present you the opportunity to save it. That's it, I mean, you want your opportunity or rather you want your way to either save or escape from your marriage. Again, it depends what your goals are, all right? Well, that is it, this is it. I mean, this is your once in a lifetime opportunity to do the things right. You may have others or other opportunities further down the road, but they're not gonna be as good as this one and they are not gonna be as potent as well as this one. Same goes career-wise. So, <clears throat> uh, cancers, it will be very important throughout our week to listen or rather like to, to um, watch out for the uh, signs of the universe because the judgment is also signs of the universe. To give you an example of that, um, let's say that you are, um, you want to proceed with a certain project, but constantly something isn't working out over there and, and constantly there are setbacks, then this is a sign of the universe. It's not gonna work out. So it's basically, you know, redirect yourself somewhere else. Because the, uh, the moon card reflects on a much higher level. Uh, it does tells you not to do what you're doing, but that is in the grand scheme of things. So you should not change your career path. You should not change your relationship path as well, but you can definitely, you know, reprioritize certain projects, you know, swapping places, one project for another. That does not kind of like make you abandon your current career path. So you have to be like I said, you have to be with keen mind to realize which priorities and which responsibilities can be achieved throughout the week and for which you do need that insight to come around so you can stir their situations. <clears throat> so uh, as we can see here, cancers, uh, that week uh, is going to give you rather like as you go throughout this week and you stubbornly sit into your position, it does look like that you're going to have the information and, um, you know, the mean for you to make a severe breakthrough here as the judgment card is pointing. So once again, if you hope to save your career or to hope to save your marriage, for example, or relationship, or even to find someone uh, to be with, you know, that is the week where you're going to have the answer how to do so. OK, this is not the resolution. This is the answer how to do so. And it will depend once again on you. Are you going to act on it? Are you going to do whatever the answer requires from you to do? Because, you know, even if you have the answer, that doesn't mean that you're going to have the courage to do it. OK, <clears throat> so that being said, once again, it will depend entirely on you, how you're going to act upon based on this information. And the last card for you guys, this is going to be the Six of Pentacles, which is the final outcome of growth, which means that 
you get your answer, you haven't bailed out and you are ready to act upon it. So as soon as you start acting upon it, many issues from your past are going to start resolving themselves or you will have the means to resolve many issues from your recent past, okay? On top of that, with the Six of Pentacles, the hierarchy that it is, it was disrupted, meaning that previously your relationship, for example, was balanced, very balanced, but something happened and now your partner either, like I said, seemed disinterested or they're oppressing a lot of power in there. So there is a disruptance, um, disruption, excuse me, of the hierarchy into the relationship. This card points that the hierarchy is going to be restored. On top of that, everything will start flowing once again according to the current, according to the common flow. Everything will start flowing naturally once again. And with the Six of Pentacles, there is another thing. Uh, you are to realize, you know, that if you don't do things the way you want, no one else will. So basically, this card tells us that after you kind of start acting upon this insight or the answer you require, uh, <clears throat> then you ain't gonna need anybody's help because you are going to know that if you want to do something right, you gotta do it yourself <clears throat> and you will have no problems doing it should you be determined enough to, um, to act upon, like I said, you know, this re re uh, revelation of resolution. And the accompanied card with the Six of Pentacles, this is going to be the Ten of Pentacles. So uh, this additionally is going to give you, we have here passive supporters. So this additionally is going to give you much more personal independency. You know, you are likely to break certain chains and strings that are attaching you to, to, to different people. And on top of that, uh, you are to present yourself very reliable and trustworthy. And uh, if, you know, a, a relationship or communication in between in someone else have been broken uh, back in the recent past for one or another reason, uh, this is going to give you or this the process of this week is going to give you the opportunity to restore that communication or relationship. Once again, the, the, that does not necessarily mean that you are going to make a reconciliation. Okay, it's going to give you once again the means to restore it. Should you restore it? Depends on your determination and how big sovereignty you have. But the very least, should you start acting upon those insights, definitely you are going to start feeling that your investments in time, effort, money, emotional investments as well are going to be in the right place. So that being said, uh, Cancers, this was your weekly tarot reading for March 11 to March 17, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, that was a general reading for Cancer Star Sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different way and level with every single different Cancer. If you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, uh, then that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you um, have to check my website which is uh, listed down below in the description of this video and there on the very first page you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now, see you around. Bye!